We've seen it. We've all seen it. The world has seen it. We've seen Fukushima. We've seen Chernobyl. And what are we putting forward now? We're going to poison all of Adelaide. We're going to destroy Sydney. We're going to wipe Darwin off the face of the earth. These are real propositions being put forward by this warmongering government. We're going to see the dumping of nuclear waste on the lands of our First Nations brothers and sisters. More crimes of genocide, war against the indigenous people of this country. Our war's not with China. Our war is with these environmental and social vandals and the warmongers. That's who our war's with. I wanted to talk about jobs. Jobs always get raised in a trade union perspective when you deal with the peace movement. And jobs are incredibly important. There's nothing more important for the life of a worker and their family. Incredibly important for the union movement. But the reality, comrades, the truth is that there are more jobs created from peace and renewables in health and in education than there ever will be for conflict and war and building hate. Studies have shown you get 41% more jobs building clean energy than building for war. You get 120% more jobs in education than you do in war. You get 107% more jobs in healthcare and you get 42% more jobs in building infrastructure, not bombing it. The jobs argument is another lie, and it's aimed at creating compliance to an agenda of conflict and hate. And we shouldn't ever fall for it, comrades. Never fall for it. We need to fight for jobs, absolutely, but not jobs that kill other working people. It's the working class that pays for the horrors of war. Comrades, the main message here is workers don't win from war. The people don't win with an environmental catastrophe. No one except the few corporate elites win from nuclear power. But there is a war being waged and it's being waged on us daily. There's war Everywhere you look, there's a war on workers, trashing rights and conditions and the standard of living of working people all over this country and all over the world. A war on workers. That's our war and we need to fight back. There's a war on peace. There's a war on peace. Peace is obviously not seen as profitable, comrades. That's what that's about. You can't make profits if you're a multinational corporation trying to plunder the markets of China. They want war for that reason. And we can't tumble into that sort of extremism. There's a war every day being waged on the environment. And every day we've got a responsibility to stand up and fight that war in the interests of the people, not in the interests of global capitalism and profit for capitalist elites. We need a war, all right. We need a war on COVID. That's what we need a war on. But where do we see Morrison running around doing deals with the Yanks, with the British, with fostering up war, not worried about what's happening to the people of this country, let alone the people in the South Pacific and throughout Asia, dying in the streets, comrades, dying in the streets. And we pay no regard but run a military agenda and let them die. That's our war, comrades. Our war is to stop that obscenity. We see the pillage of corporate elitism, and that's our war. Our war is stopping this corporate greed that ravages the planet, is prepared to destroy it, so these people can live a life of luxury and the rest of us can all go and get stuff. That's our war, comrades, and that's a war we're prepared to fight, and we need to fight it. And what we see is AUKUS and nuclear subs 
They're not the solution. They're the problem. They're another part of the problem. And let's fight this war. Let's fight the war for peace. Let's fight the war for working class advancement. And let's stand up to the greed of the bosses and the governments who are only, only interested in imperialist war for markets and for profits. It's not our war. Our war's with us. Our war's against them who are waging that war. And let's fight it, comrades. Let's build this movement and fight it. The potential is enormous. If we can bring together the entire trade union movement, we bring together the environmental movement, we bring together the anti-nuclear movement, we bring together our First Nations brothers and sisters, and we fight for what is right, not for war. We fight for peace. We fight for justice. And comrades, if we do that, we can win. So let's go!